um, Joe Biden after and the Democrats after probably saying no less than 9,482 times unequivocally that Joe Biden would not pardon Hunter Biden if Trump was elected. The president would not uh, pardon or commute the sentence for his mm -hmm. son, Hunter. Uh, I just want to make sure that that is not going to change over the next six months. The president's it's saying still, he would not. It's still, it's still a no. It's still a no. It will always be a no. It's still a no. It will be a no. It, it is a no. And I don't have anything else to add. Will he pardon his son? No. He'd have to go through the jury system. Nobody's above the law, blah, blah, blah. What's he do? Of course he pardons him. Of course he does. Not only that, it's like for 11 years. So anything he could have possibly done in the history of time, he is pardoned for. Now, I'll start by saying if, a lo if I could do that for a loved one, a family member, I would probably do the same thing. I wouldn't lie about it. I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to protect my own. No, if Trump gets elected and they're going to make Hunter Biden go to court and investigate him, all this, yeah, I'm going to protect him. But the Democrats, Biden, they didn't do that. They're like, no, what are we crazy? Now, this is the point of this rant. And I've been saying it over and over and over. And why the Democrats got slaughtered in the election. Because they think they're morally superior to everybody else. So any Democrat, and lots of them, whenever you say this, it's like, what a flyer Biden the Democrats are. Can you believe it? They always, yeah, ba 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 trump ba 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 trump ba 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 Your brain is broken. Your brain is broken. You don't get it. Because here's the thing. What the Democrats have done for, I don't know, 12 years, have taken this moral high ground that were the righteous party, the truth, honesty, integrity. Yes, after massive criticism on social media, Biden flee to Africa. According to this tweet, Joe Washblast, Democrats say their arguments against Trump is now deflected after Biden pardoned his son, Hunter Biden. Nobody above the law. We have been screaming where Joe Biden just made clear his son, Hunter, is above the law. These same people say, oh, Trump. We saw that throughout. They are even ashamed to say that again. Everybody is criticizing the decision Biden took up to pardon Hunter. We all know that something like this will happen, but people are more concerned with the lies they told. They have been lying throughout. If you've been watching the press secretary, even today, she was struggling to deviate away from this topic. It is important. I show you some clips. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that. Uh, listen, you guys can spend all day long trying to spin this, that this is Donald Trump's fault, that this is somehow caused by Donald Trump. Oh, he's appointing the wrong people. Oh, he did it. Oh, this is the worst possible thing a president could possibly do to his party and to the country to sit for a year and say, I will not do this. I will not do this. The rule of law is sacred. We have to respect the justice system juries we have to respect juries we have to respect the guardrails and the norms of our democracy these people are liars inflation is transitory afghanistan it's a success the border is secure robert Hur is a liar the videos are cheap fakes biden has a cold he'll never drop out oh i'll never pardon hunter it's all a lie it is all a grift every american except the most partisan brain rotted people are going to be outraged by this today he is going to leave off you think 38 39 percent job okay. approval is bad just you wait just you wait he's disgraced scott, disgraced today outrageous you don't need to but scott you don't need to hurl names and say people like me are brain rotted come on that's a little beyond the pale even for you scott listen you can I, disagree. I, I stand we can up for disagree yourself. About you don't this. have to we defend have to this. He's leaving name. office. You don't have to defend it. You don't have to die on this hill. You can say this is wrong because I'm everybody knows it's that it is. Right. It's wrong. Yes, I just like the way Scott is calling these people out. Biden's start up line from the very beginning to the end. He is going out lying. That is to clearly tell you who this man is. I've been hearing this over and over. I didn't want to even believe that this is Biden. Look at what he did.
Scott here is doing the right thing. This lady don't want to accept that. They should stop spinning it. They should call it the way it is. That is simple. No story. Democrats are fond of this. If the media want to spin this, they should continue. There is just no way to be defending this. Biden has, he has messed up. That is who clearly tells you that Hunter is above the law. These are the same people who preach nobody's against Nobody's above the law. Nobody's above the law. We saw that. Yeah, two things, because I have, I respect it as a parent. I understand why he would do it. Yeah. But I wonder to understand why lie about it for so long. And, I'd, I'd, and, and I would stop, but, but, I'd stop when, calling it a lie. Okay, why repeatedly say you're not going to when you do? And secondarily, for the cut part of this country, half of it that doesn't support Biden, doesn't know him personally, doesn't get to have phone calls, and they're just looking at a system that seems like it only benefits the people who are in well, power. I'm gonna say, what I'm, precedent does that set? Well, here's what it says. It's a precedent for all of us to open our eyes because we've elected someone who is in a similar situation, who didn't have a drug problem, who knew what he was doing, who clearly was stood and said, I can do this. And he did it. So I think for many, many reasons, this is very different than any other situation that we have ever dealt with. So I call it Whoopi Goober. Biden spoke the truth throughout I don't know if Whoopi Goober is actually watching what exactly was going on or she has never watched Karen speak because everything that comes out of her mouth has been lies upon lies and now these lies are backfiring. Whoopi Goober did not see that. She's struggling to defend it. It is ridiculous to see this happening. At a certain point, I don't want to always even go deep into the view videos because of these lies, this spew. Alisa at this point was struggling to speak the truth, to call out their lies, but they still continue to do it. Anyway, sometimes when I look at the whole situation, I used to ask myself, like, must they always do this every time? I have a very quick yes, statement. Yes, it's not going to be that quick. <laughs> Pete Hedgeseth has denied any wrongdoing. His lawyer said he paid the woman in 2023 to head off the threat of a baseless lawsuit. No charges were ever brought. <laughs> you rushed me for that? I'm accustomed to seeing that all the time. Mm -hmm. And so now here you are to answer your question directly. You are the left. You lead and you were a prisoner to the extreme left in a lot of people's mm -hmm. eyes. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? Most of America doesn't operate on the fringes. Whether you're left or you're right, you're relatively centrist. You believe in compromise, negotiation, working with one another. Nobody gets to get everything they want. The problem is those on the fringes continuously push for you to get everything you want. Yeah. They're not about getting they're not about getting things done. They're about getting their way. And if they're not going to get their way, they're about complaining and griping about it because they understand that when you are operating based off of grievance, that's usually what provokes you to get to the polls. And that is why they don't mind feeling aggrieved and displaying mm -hmm. and disseminating that kind of message because they know people are going to gravitate to that. Do I should I disagree with Smith? Look at what is happening here. He's speaking the truth and they are speechless. This is someone who reason and is speaking just common sense into their head. Sonia Austin is looking at like she, she has never seen someone that is intelligent like this. And these Democrats will rue the day. They decided to use lawfare to stop a presidential candidate. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about tit for tat. You just wait and it won't be Hunter Biden the next time. It's going to be Joe Biden. It could potentially still be Barack Obama. It could still potentially be Hillary Clinton. We're going to have to look at what the statutes of limitations are on the various crimes they surely committed. We're going to have to look at passing laws to revive those dead crimes felonies or misdemeanors so that 
Those cases can be brought. Megan Kelly shot this video a few days ago. Just today, Hunter Biden was pardoned. I don't know if they saw the clip to finally take that decision. <laughs> then the decisive result of this election gives us not just an answer to the question as to what Americans want to do along those lines, it also gives us a really big to-do list. Um, <laughs> for healthcare. Let's keep validating the same outlets that continuously undermine us at every single turn. Dear Mon Pa Maga. It states. <laughs> Conversation. Justin Trudeau broke the border. We didn't have these problems before Justin Trudeau. Does anybody else think it's funny how Donald Trump has officially done more for Canada and he's not even in office yet? I had a good call with Donald Trump last night again. Trudeau is at the end mm. of his time. The Prime Minister dances while Montreal burns. It's mass officers and the Prime Minister was nowhere to be found. <laughs> Justin Trudeau tweeted to Taylor Swift, asking her to add a stop of her era's tour in Canada. Have a nice Sunday. She's doing this. That's what she did. NBC News can now project that Donald Trump has won the state of Wisconsin, which means he is the winner of this race and will return to the White House. And Donald Trump will be our next president. But Donald Trump will become the 47th president of the United States. CNN projects that Donald Trump has been elected president, defeating Vice President Kamala Harris and making a political comeback unlike any in modern American politics. I'm going to You know what? Donald Trump likes my music. In, please register to vote. Look at this. She's only up by 15 points. Caught Taylor Swift. What if Trump said, if you don't vote for me, you ain't